Hey what's up guys this is Akshay and today we have with us the Xiaomi Redmi Note 4 Rocking Aero OS which is based on Android 9.05. So in this video we'll let us explore this ROM with the tutorial and download link given in the video description. So without further ado I do, let's get started. Hey what's up guys this is Akshi and today we have with us the Xiaomi Redmi Note 4 rocking Android 9.0. Now Android 9.0 is officially Android Pie or Android P and if you go to the about the device that is under system about Redmi Note 4 and let's go to the error version let's go to this is changed right now Android version 9.0 so you can see the Android version is 9 if I tap it several times you get this P logo right now, which is again Android P, and it's really cool. And take my words, the ROM is super fast. It's super smooth, super fast. I'm in love with this right now. And this is the most stable and most smoothest ROM at the early build of Android. Take my words. There are a few bugs we will talk at the end part of this video. But overall it has been very smooth, very responsive, VoLTE works, Bluetooth works. And first of all we will explore some of the great features, then we will talk about the bugs. So let's first start with the features. So initially you will see the all your notification panel. Now the notification panel seems to be familiar with MIUI 10 and, uh, and the uh, .OS that we reviewed earlier. But this is the Android P which looks very nice. Now there are some DPI issues right now, uh, the, it received update last week that was on Sunday but this issue was in that update. So before that it was smooth, it was proper, there was no DPI issue right now. And you can see you have now the time at the left, the battery and the percentage at the top, then the SIM networks and Wi-Fi on the bottom and then again you have your day and date. Now this is because of the notch design. So the next pixel will come with the notch. So this is a place for the notch. I don't like notch design. It is basically wasting my space right now on my phone. But still good. Notification has really improved. The other big thing which is fantastic is the new recent tab. Just look at this. It's super smooth, super fast and uh, it has no features like tap and hold or something like that. It's just uh, swipe up to remove and there you have it. It looks beautiful. Uh, also you have this Android 8.0 based icons and the rest everything looks familiar. You have some new features in the settings. The, the, the number one is digital well-being. So digital well-being is something that makes you use your phone less. So it gives you all the data like I use my phone 1 hour 41 minutes today since morning and have used all the apps. So I can see that WhatsApp, I'm using Water Business a lot more. So I should use it less. So what I can do is I can uh, manage notifications so I can disable all the notifications. So you can see I got 188 notifications since morning. Oh yeah, 188 notifications. And I've unlocked my phone 36, which is really cool. And if you go to uh, say apps, for example, this WhatsApp business, I can actually set a timer. So I can set a timer for like 15 minutes, 30 minutes, one hour or whatever you like and then it will lock. Now for example, what I have did is I have locked the Twitter app. So you can see the Twitter app that I have used 15 minutes today. So I, I have set the app timer to 15 minutes. So now if I open Twitter app, let's open my Twitter app, you can see it says app isn't available. Twitter is paused as your app timer ran out. To change settings, tap find out more. So you can change the settings. Let's go learn more. And we can disable the timer. Uh, let's do that. Um, but this is a good thing. Like you can limit using some apps. Like you're wasting too much time in the app. Uh, you can do it. so. And there you go. Then you can resume your app. So this is a digital bank. And you can see the new notification panel. 
you can see how it popped up there's a lot of animations in this device a lot of animations it's very smooth it's blazing fast beautiful animations digital well-being new notification panel the new recent panel and there's some lot more optimization let me show you in the settings if we go to the battery tab now you can see there's some optimization here not a huge deal but now it uses machine learning so and to test whether your apps are running or consuming too much of battery power and you can set battery power and you can see on detecting when apps drain battery so this is what the machine learning will try to use like it will it will scan all the apps so what apps are used what data apps are using and it will not allow the apps to use your say a front camera or data when it is in the background so that's good also you get the some new tweaks in the in the lock screen in the lock screen notifications you also get a new ambient display look well which i can't show you right now because i don't have any device to message this this device is currently the even is currently shooting the camera so overall this is a very nice rom with very good features features you can see the storage 28 percent used basically machine learning is everywhere everywhere and also talking about customization so i've used usb extended rom and all the rom in the past they have some special panel for customization this room is near stock it has very few customization it has so let's go to the display and now you can see it has customizations here so you can set the display size screen saver ambient display so you have new notifications you have accidental wake up you have clock and date customization battery icon stall so this is inside the display app which is cool it gives near to stock and experience you have your usb recents to tweak if you want and some minor tweak there's no huge tweak like we found or it is usb extended or dot os but really nice rom now let's talk about bugs of course this is a very early, early version of android so bugs are acceptable so there is a bluetooth bug so if you turn off the bluetooth now you can see it will turn out automatically let's lock the device let's unlock the device and you can see face id is not working currently mm. okay it's solved so actually it was turning bluetooth on for some reasons so it turns bluetooth on for some reason same for the wi-fi and uh, every time you boot it will it will ask you to choose data set so every time you boot it will give you notifications like your sim is changed which is a very weird bug it basically creates problems in in the banking apps so that's 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 weird but if that is fixed volti doesn't work so the first time when i flashed this wrong volti was not working but when i flashed it again i got some sim errors but then volti was working so this kind of hit or a mess okay very early versions of android can understand but that will be fixed very soon so very great rom bolty works bluetooth works everything works smooth really fast some good features out there really happy with the performance i will leave all the download links and the tutorial in the description below of our website you can follow that and overall a very nice rom for the redmi note 4 if you love me if you hate me ui ads and basically you can try also you have some new uh, volume icon that i forgot to told so there you go <laughs> it looks like miui yeah but miui has when you click on settings miui still has a small recent uh, in the bar okay which is missing here when you when you when you tap settings and it will take you to the settings uh, okay that is undust understandable but i think that approach of miui was much better but overall thank you for watching We'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye now.